Well, good morning. Morning. How do you feel this morning? Pretty good. You've been awful good to me, Juanita. Hardly anybody's been that good. Except maybe Jesse. I, I can't thank you enough. I don't do this because I want thanks. Juanita, when I get well and Jesse and I leave, will you go with us? No. I must stay here. Someday, when the Frankensteins leave, my people will come back. You must be wrong about them, Juanita. Look how good they're treating me. Perhaps. But out there in the graveyard, I see my brother's grave. No. My place is here. Then I'll stay here with you. Oh, no. You mustn't. I won't let you. As soon as you get well, you must go. But Juanita... No. No. Juanita. Don't leave. I was about ready to pitch a tent. Damn it. You know what? Today, Hank asked me to come with you when you go. Don't you want me to go with you? It isn't that, Juanita. It's just... Well, I'm waiting. When I first met you, I told you I'm Jesse James. I'm an outlaw. You are the outlaw. That I know. But you haven't told me. Do you want me to go with you? Cinderella story, out of nowhere. There's your answer. That is all I wanted to know. No, I can't not leave this place. I must not. But I had to know that you wanted me. Sitting in the graveyard, sucking some face. If that isn't just like a wolf. Don't have no place else to go. This is just a place. Please, do not be angry with me. You see, I must stay just as you must go. Why must I go? Because I do not trust the Frankensteins. They wicked. They terrible people. They will destroy you. They destroy our village and some of our boys. And they will destroy you and Hank. Promise. On my brother's grave. Please. Go. Someday, when things are different for you and me, you come back. When things are different, I'll wait. When we both can speak a good English. Here comes a bitch face. To ruin everything. Look at that sourpuss she got on. <laughs> I saw you kissing her. hot inside. I thought I'd come out for a smoke. Yes, it's nice out here. I'm going to let me a cigar and get Juanita off my breath. It's kind of hot. It's uh, kind of nice country. Why is everybody except Juanita gone away? We are scientists. We make experiments. These people are ignorant. They do not understand and they're frightened. So they've run away. Seems like uh, some of them didn't quite make it. Ah, oh, yes, Francisco. A sweet child. He became ill, but my brother and I could not save him. He was weak. Not like your friend Hank. Hank is improving. Thanks to you and your brother. I wonder what kind of pomade he uses. I'm on the verge of a great experience. wonder if he's a, a dapper damn man. 
I would bring the friend. And Juanita. He's doing even better than I'd hoped for. How soon do you think we'll be able to leave? I want to speak to you about that. I want you to stay. I'm sorry. I made a promise that we'd leave as soon as Hank was well enough to travel. A promise? To whom? To myself, uh, you might say. It's lonesome out here and very difficult for us. We do not know how to cope with this wild country. Stay here. We need you. I need you. I'm on the verge of a great experiment. And I know I will succeed this time. I will build an empire here. I want you to share in everything. My experiments. My life. How can I help you? Rudolph is weak. I need you. I need your strength. Excuse me while I cram my nose into your cheek. <laughs> We leave as soon as Hank is well enough to travel. I'm sorry I made a fool of myself. You taste like beef jerky. I don't like that. I'm a chicken noodle soup man. <laughs> Good night, Mr. Howard. Here comes the worry board. <laughs> Juanita. Dragon Ball. You're to find Jesse, Mr. Howard, and give him this envelope. Good night, Jesse. What is it? You are to tell him it's a prescription for Hank, that he's taken a turn for the worse, and that we need this prescription to be filled. But Hank is doing well. And Juanita knows it, and she sees Jesse all the time. Especially at night. Uh oh, here goes. Rudolph's big scene. Rudolph's coming of age scene. What is in this envelope? You're jealous. <laughs> <laughs> so you've been snooping around as usual. Well, then you know. To think that this outlaw with a price on his head refused me for that. Yes, I've seen them together, too. So what are you going to do, Maria? Nothing foolish, I hope. What is in this envelope? I tell you what. It's a note to Jensen, the druggist in Shelby, telling him that the bearer is Jesse James, the outlaw with a price on his head. No, you mustn't. You mustn't. Mustn't I? Why not? I would have turned him in before, only... Only you wanted him for yourself. Ah. Oh, you're jealous. You're human after all. <laughs> How dare, dare you? He's <laughs> looking back. <laughs> Is she coming after me? <laughs> So I have to ride into Shelby to get some medicine for Hank. He's taken a turn for the worst. What do you mean? When I saw him this evening, he was fine. Oh, they're sending you away to get rid of you. Now, why would they try and get rid of me? Besides, if you're wrong, it cost Hank his life. Jesse! Don't trust them, especially Maria. Please, don't go. I'll be back. Jesse! 